identified bodies of the Shakahola victims will start receiving their bodies from 26th of March next week for their burial. Speaking at the Malindi Sub-County Hospital Funeral Home, Government Chief Pathologist Joanne Senodor said plans are underway to offer counselling to the family members before releasing the bodies to them. The government will from next week Tuesday start releasing bodies of victims of Shakahola massacre to relatives of burial. Speaking to journalists in Malindi Funeral Home, Dr. Odor said that the identified relative had been informed and they will get psychosocial support before the bodies are released to them, adding that the process will include logistics. And uh, we are going to start releasing the bodies from uh, next week 20, on 26th. Uh, the process uh, includes uh, logistics, which we are currently undertaking this week, uh, which is organizing for counselors who will counsel these people and also contacting the relatives will come here uh, for the purpose of taking their loved ones. He also said that relatives will have to present themselves with letters from their respective chiefs and the persons who gave out the DNA samples for them to be given the bodies. The chief government pathologist added that bodies that will not be claimed by the relatives after some time specified by the law will be buried by the government. They have to come with a letter from the chief uh, yeah, so that we can be able to identify these persons as the real relatives to these victims. Secondly, they'll have to come uh, with the person who donated the DNA because this is a person who was uh, directly linked to the, to the disease. So upon coming, uh, we'll cancel, we'll uh, have them identify the body, then we'll release the body to them. Among them is a man who lost eight loved ones, five of whom have been identified with DNA. He has also lauded the government decision to give them bodies of their loved ones so that they will give them poor percent off. Adding that it has been a long time for the process to be complete, but now he has a reason to smile again. We lost eight members, and five of them were able to be identified through DNA. And today I'm here with the journalists, and uh, we have managed to uh, to see the DCI, the Guto, and the doctor. Shamila Baraza, Look Up TV. Interior Cabinet Secretary 